Hey guys, Nikki from Nikki's Determination here. Today we got Neo Revelation. We're determined to get the Shining Gyarados. Yep, today will be a vintage pack opening day. This Neo Revelations pack is featuring Mischievous. From what I've seen, this is about a $95 pack. One pack for $95. So I've had these for a while. Oh, I think these are from 2007. Correct me if I'm wrong. These are Wizards of the Coast. This is the good stuff here. So when I got these packs, they were only going for like 30 bucks. Now they're about $100. I almost made a mistake and opened this um, Celebi bad boy. I was going to open this one for you guys today. But realized the only one bli uh, sealed in a blister like this on eBay is going for like $500. <laughs> I mean, it must have like skyrocketed in the last year because... About a year ago, these were not that expensive. We'll go ahead and announce the giveaway winners really quick. The winner from the last video, which is Ultra Prism Codes. The winner from the last video, which is Ultra Prism Codes. That winner is Game X. So congratulations to you, Game X. You get some awesome Ultra Prism Codes. Let me know if you get anything good. Today we're going to be doing our awesome giveaway of 25 random codes. These are going to be these will be Sun and Moon base set. Sun and Moon Guardians Rising, Sun and Moon Crimson Invasion, Burning Shadows, and Ultra Prism. So it'll be a combo of all the Sun and Moon codes. 25 of them. That's a great deal. All you have to do is be subscribed to the channel, drop your comment in the comment section, and give this video a thumbs up, please. The big wows in this set is Shining Gyarados at about $150. Um, if you had seen my last vintage pack opening with Neo Destiny, I had got a shiny Charizard, so I was like, wow, how did I get the best card in the freaking set? I'm really, like, skeptical about opening this one and not getting something so great. So the Shining Gyarados at 150 then you got the Shining Magikarp at like 130 140 So Queen is like $75. You got Ho-Ho and Entei at about $59, $60, about the same price. Raikou at $49 and Houndoom at $33. That'll be about $21. Porygon 2, $19.97. Ampharos at $17 and then that's where it pretty much stops. And then the rest of the commons are very, very cheap. So, we'll get started with that. Let's pray and hope that we get that Shining Gyarados, or at least Shining Magikarp. So I'm going to go ahead and rip over this blister, this $100 right here. So if you think about it, it's like, ow! <laughs> it went like inside my nail. Um, if you think about it, it's about $95, $100 for this pack. I'm obviously not going to be able to keep this blister thing nice. Um, and then the best card you could get is $150, so it's really not that much off. So if you don't get a good card in a $100 pack, you're going to feel pretty salty at the end of the day. We got this Neo Revelations pack featuring Mischievous. A lot of the packs that I've seen at least do not come in these blister things. Um, they keep them very nice, so I'm really glad I got those ones instead of just the packs. I don't know why this looks so weird, though. It's like... Wizards of the Coast, the writing on it is so um, blurry, it almost looks like it's like reprinted. I know this isn't, this is the first edition, but literally the first edition and then the one they made after that, there's no difference but maybe like $10. We're gonna bust this baby open. Ah, I got fuzzies on my lip. I'm nervous guys, like... This pack looks so weird though. Doesn't it just look kind of weird from this one? Like the, look at the trading card game words on here. And then on here, it looks like, like printed on this one. Very legit if this is fake. I get really nervous when I start opening these vintage packs, guys. So if I start to shake, sweat, I'm sorry ahead of time because I don't know why, but these make me so freaking nervous. I can open relevant sets like nothing, but when it comes to these, I just get so nervous. Alright, I'm gonna be really careful and not look. And, uh, wow, I did a really good job. These old packs, I'm gonna set the pack, the cards right here really quick. These old packs are really easy to open nicely compared to today's packs. Yay! I'm gonna go ahead and pick up these. We got this pack, and these cards feel so freaking fresh. They feel like Wizards of the Coast. 
cards. I'm gonna put three to the frizzant. My hands are already sweaty, guys. All right, let's do this. We're gonna take our time, look at the artwork. Let me get the sweat off my hands. All right, here we go. Here we go for like the 50th time. <laughs> Oh, I'm already excited. It's a graveler. I got this freaking huge knife right here. Graveler. Hmm. That artwork is so cool. It's so simple. Like, I could do that, but I love it. Alright, next card is Parasect. Wow, that's really cool. It looks like an oil painting. There we go. Parasect Sage 1. Neo Revelations. Wow, we got a trainer of Pokemon Breeder Fields. Flip a coin for one or two of your non-baby Pokemon that can evolve. For each heads, search your deck for a later stage card that matches the Pokemon. Then put that card into your hand. Shuffle your deck afterwards. And we got the Quillfish. Looking like a blowfish. Alright, we got Shuckle. We got the clay animation here with Shuckle. Alright, shuckle, shuckle, shuckle. That's really cool. Pokemon Power, Hard Shell. Bam. Oh, look at Chinchow. Looks like normal artwork for Chinchow, but it's cool nonetheless. Really cool. Electric and Water. Wow, Star You. This looks like the, the Generations or the Evolutions one. Evolutions. I always get evolutions and generations mixed up. Alright, next one. Murkrow. Hmm. Common Murkrow. <laughs> he looks so cute. With his little, little Murkrow hat. And we got Apom. Hmm. Man, these cards are in such good shape. I wish Pokemon still made the cards perfect like this. Look at the border. Just... Fresh AF. Smoochum. Huh. Haven't seen this Pokemon for a while. Sm oh, we got a Psychic 30 HP. Smoochum. You want a Smooch from Smoochum? Wow. These are, this is a baby Pokemon. And then we got the last card here, guys. So I'm guessing it should be a hollow, rare. Hopefully, my hands are sweaty. Hopefully, this is not garbage. Ready, set. Oh, okay, so it's fire. It's fire. <laughs> so we know it's not a shining Gyarados, so we didn't get that. Do you think it's Entei or Ho Ho? Oh, it's Entei, but this is not a hollow. So this, this, this really hurts the heart, guys. It really does. I mean, it's not a hollow. And, uh, this card, do you want to know how much it is? Do you really want to know? Are you sure? It's alright. <laughs> I had fun nonetheless opening these cards with you guys. I really wanted to do a vintage pack opening. I'd say it hurts a little, but, you know, just a hundred and, ugh. I mean, I had a great time nonetheless. I'm really happy. I wanted to open those that pack up with you guys we can't be winners all the time we gotta stay positive stay positive have an open mind and we'll be all right nonetheless these cards look great it's fun always and very nostalgic you know opening and seeing these cards and wizards of the coast cards with how beautiful they make them and how beautiful they feel they feel so great they're not worth a thing so remember if you do want to win those codes 25 Oh, oh, oh. Give this video a thumbs up and drop your comment in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this vintage pack opening. You have a good day. Bye.